like everyone except for snaking is trying to like you know win <laughs> for the yeah. team that can win hi guys we're here with valentine's to choose our ti dream team before we get into it i think we're gonna need some drinks so luckily we have some help from valentine's So good. So good. So we're gonna pick our TI Dream Teams. The rules are simple. You cannot pick yourselves or any of your current teammates, and you must pick from currently active players. So we're gonna start with Neda and his Dream Team position one. Okay, you already know. Go with uh, Nightfall, the ideal ideal uh, choice. Yeah. Very non-controversial, huh? I mean, like it's depend sort of controversial. depends on who you ask. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like with position one, you for sure go to CIS region. But I would go with Yatoro because I feel like he's a striker, you know? Nightfall is more like a ghoul. Yeah, but the ghouls are like, you know. I mean, Yatoro did just win the last two big tournaments, so it's, you know, it's a bit of a safe pick, but you know. Sure, you can have Nightfall. Yeah. <laughs> Skidder? I mean, I'm gonna go with Yatoro as well. Like the guys above everyone else, so yeah, I'm not sure about the Nightfall pick, but you know. I'm just gonna go with Ana. I mean, he's an active player, he's playing a lot of pubs, so it's my, it's part of my dream team. It's a good pick, it's a good pick, I like it. For me, I'm also choosing someone from the Asian region, I'm going with Ame. Non-controversial, one of the greatest players of all time, and he's still active right now. He's, is he active? he's competing in the, um, what was it, in, in, the China, yeah, in Asian games right now. I mean, I don't know if he's active, but... He's literally competing in the Asian games right now. Sure. As we speak. I feel like he's as active as Ana is. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's in a competition. What do you want? That's active. Oh. What, what do you do? How do you define active then? Competition is not active? I mean, playing TI, playing TI qualifiers, playing DPC. I feel like <laughs> didn't do any of those. He's playing Asian games, representing China. Okay, so moving on to the position twos. Probably it's uh, Nisha for me. Yeah. Any... I mean, I'm also considering Nisha. To me, it's probably the Nisha. There's some male as well. Even though he didn't qualify, I think he's still one of the best mid laners. But I will go with Nisha as well. I mean, I'm a Quinn believer, even though, you know, people don't like that he's toxic in pubs. I think he's improved a lot over the last couple of years. And, you know, I think he would complement Yatoro very well. On my team. Well, oh, I cannot shit. imagine Yatoro and Quinn in the team together at all. <laughs> they will not get along. It's okay, guys. I have more people to fix this team. Don't worry, okay. guys. I'm gonna go with Var. I think this guy has been improving a lot and he's, he's looking like one of the best. It's definitely a good choice. He's improved a lot over this year. I think in the beginning of this year, he didn't look as good, but right now, he definitely looks like he could be easily one of the best mids in the world right now. And as for me, I'm choosing Somnus, <laughs> AK maybe. As you see, there's a trend going on with my choices, but maybe, honestly, he, he took a long break, but then he, he, he's really come back in this scene as like a very formidable mid. I think most people kind of written him off when he took a year off, but to most people's surprise, the guy's still a beast. I feel like it's a hot pick. They literally yeah, just, want, feel to, like they just snaking, want to qualify. Right? Snaking is just trying to get he's a hot He's just sending pick. a message. Yeah. Yeah. He like, doesn't want to pick like I the, don't know. the players that are Winning tournaments. Yeah. Qualifying to tournaments. They are winning tournaments. Even they won the China qualifier. <laughs> Stick to the facts, Nana. Okay, and now for positions three, Nana. Um, position three, it's two very obvious choices, but it's hard to choose between Ace and Collapse. But uh, I think I'll go with I'll go with Collapse. I think it's it's true. I don't think there is anyone that like it's up to their level. Honestly, Collapse has not been like as good as he used to be for a while. He was still very good, but I think Ace was like on top for a while, but now Collapse is back. Ace has for sure been a lot more stable this year, but I think like Collapse when he's like, you know, playing, you know, playing to his level is like just the best. Yeah, I will still go with Ace though. I feel like I never see the guy struggling never see the guy having like low impact or something. I think he's extremely stable and good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with Ace. Um, just mostly because I have Yatoro and, uh, and uh, Quinn on mid, so I need someone more mature that can like handle them and 
Yep. I think Ace is more stable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna go with Collapse also. The guy is a, ah. the guy is a beast. You so can't, can't really go wrong with it. Come Let's on, see what Snake you gotta be more creative, us. guys. Yeah. Guys, you just gotta be more creative. Go he thinks yeah. it's the Where's most, the most creative team, not the dream team. Maybe Snake has someone from us, like maybe from the someone who lost the qualifiers in China. Yeah. <laughs> no, this person also won the qualifiers. Oh, it's Chalice. <laughs> it is Chalice. Oh wow. Oh, shocker. so creative, shocking. guys. So Making creative. This, guys, this video guys. is like the introduction of the Wu to the to the audience. Guys, guys, that's true. Hear me out, okay? You guys picked Ace and Collapse, but Chalice, he's like a. He's like a talented star who debuted, you know, back in the TIA. You know, he's gonna come in back again. And yeah. Thompson versus Chalice. Are you ready oh, for round two? Of course. It's a different lane. What so, are you talking about? Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's about the matchup. Okay. Okay. I feel like everyone except for Snaking is trying to like, you know, win. <laughs> Put yeah. a team that can win. I mean, no offense to the no. Snaking picks. Like they're good players, <laughs> but you know, I feel like. Cannot compare them to like the current T1 players, at least until they we'll, we'll see prove about us, that. We'll see prove about us otherwise. That. Anyways, moving on to the post fours. Uh, post four. Well, obviously, if I can choose Saxa, it's an easy choice. But uh, I guess I will not. So I'll go with Tofu. I think the guy just plays. No, I feel like he's just been playing super good whole year, just always looks very stable. And uh, yeah, every pub I play with him, it's like an uh, easy win, so Tofu. Honestly, I have always been like a big Jinq fan. I think to me the best were always like Jinq, Tofu, Safe. But for some reason I never saw Safe play as good as he seems to be in officials. We just saw Jinq not too long ago though. He was in a red eye mask. Is he playing in TI? No. He was in the right. He lost so. I, I will go with Tofu as well. <laughs> I feel like having Tofu and Ace together is like a pretty good good deal. So my post four is gonna be safe. Uh, because you know, as you said, he has not been you know, he didn't really have like great result in CIS teams. That's why I'm taking him to the EU team and pairing up with Ace and that's gonna be the way to solve the curse. I'll go with FY. He's active, right? Yeah, he is active. Yeah. I'll go with FY. He's uh I'm a fan. Uh, you know, he's a he's a veteran. He's gonna bring some yeah. experience to the team. And... You also like the fireworks, right? Yeah, Is that why yeah, you're picking up one? The fireworks. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. A good reminder. Yeah, yeah. For everybody about good the reminder fireworks. of the good times for you. Yeah. All right. Any guesses on snaking spec? Yeah. <laughs> right, come on, guys. You guys, you guys must know. Zinky or Fy? Yeah. You say Fy. It is Fy. <laughs> of course. Oh, no. uh, you see the pattern here? No, it's so no. hard to I see. Mean, it's really hard. It's really hard. I mean, yeah. you guys keep picking players from like two or three teams, but like, come on, you guys gotta be more creative than that. <laughs> creative. <laughs> I think that's about the most creative yeah, team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I've been reviewing my fifth player. You don't know that. The guys are pinched. You don't yeah, know that actual, just yet, okay? No, his last player is Y. It's gonna be a F switch up. The player guy is the insane F person. Y is definitely one of the like, like he's really, not known for his skills recently, but more for memes for his, for his fireworks. But I feel like no, no, he's still a very good player. I feel like you should not, you should not say these things. What the what? He, People know him from the memes. But what I'm talking about? about no, that. recently. Recent. It's no. like a recent development. But I, I feel like he, he's here to clear his name. And he, he's. No. FY, I still believe he's a beast. I've been watching his replays, and I think he's, he's still got it. And he hasn't been on the best teams recently, but. I think he he can definitely show up. All right, now for the post five letter. Um, well, post five, I think uh, there's no choice, but I have to take another spirit player. I was trying to like avoid spirit players because like obviously they look like the best team right now. I didn't want to just you know uh, this guy from spirit, this guy from spirit, but I have to go with me Poshka for post five. Wow, astounding. I mean, Miposhka is probably one of the most stable ones and like highest skilled post fives. To me, it's like Miposhka, Celery. I think Celery has a series which are really good, which he is really good at. Yeah. But I'm gonna go with why, like why you smile. I feel like the guy has been performing really well during the last years. I mean, my post five to tie it up all up, I'm bringing Puppy kind of like bring the experience and the leadership and you know it's gonna be good to like a glue I feel like team. Skidder's team there's like an explosion at some point yeah and why for sure the some point is one day after they start playing no but then also like coach is gonna help 
Oh, you don't choose have, a coach. You don't choose a coach. No, there's coach. Right? The, there's coach, coach. Is, the coach is Skittle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, I'll clean it all up. Don't worry. Okay. He will be in a punching bag in the middle. You know, everyone's like. All right, Thompson. Target. I'm gonna go with Fly. Now Anna and Fly back together. It's a good choice. And it's about time he's gonna win a TI also. So. That is true. I think Fly's won everything but a TI, right? He's done everything Dota has to offer. But for me, my pause five. Come on, take a guess, guys. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm saying. Just say it's nay. Just say it. Just say it. Come on, yes or no. Fine. There's no hype because your team is already like not very exciting. You know? <laughs> not very it's exciting. Creative. It's, so exciting. Uh, it's creative, way more exciting but... than you guys picking the spirit. Then and I'm picking the best players for that team. The team doesn't right. understand what we're like playing. This is the yeah. dream team. Yeah, to win. I mean. <laughs> Why? I want to vote win. on whose dream team will win after. I feel like we should. I already know the results. There's one like, team that's gonna lose. I feel like everyone is gonna vote for their own team. Yes, because for, that's literally know? the point. <laughs> okay, if you cannot vote for your own team, reveal. do the reveal. Dude, you guys already know. It has to be X Nova uh, from Boom. Oh, actually, oh, I didn't okay. expect that. I would not guess that. I thought you were gonna say Y for sure. Yeah. No, X Nova okay. for a dream team. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think X Nova came onto the scene pretty. Unexpectedly, he kind of just like came onto everyone's radar once he was LG, but not so much before then. And I, I really watched a lot of his Bane replays. I feel like his positioning and his map movements were really good, and it was very inspiring to learn from him. Good yeah. choice. Good choice. Thank you. Really nice. good team. All right, guys. So now we're just gonna recap our teams. So Neta, what was your team? Um, so I got the Nightfall, Nisha. Collapse, Tofu, and Miposhka. Nine. I got Yataro, Nisha, Ace, Tofu, and Y. Okay. And your team? My team was Yataro, Quinn, Ace, Safe, and Puppy. I had Ana, Laro, and Collapse. And then I had FY and Fly. Ame, <laughs> Somnus, Chalice, FY, Ixnova. Do, do you have a team name for that one? I might actually. LGD might be a good name for it. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's really good and creative. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, so that's it from us. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think of uh, our dream teams and what yours would be. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.